Hi, this is Gary. You're watching a tutorial on variance and standard deviation in poker. In this segment, we're going to cover variance, uh, standard deviation, distribution curves, uh, go through some poker examples of how to use it. We'll also look at the rake impact as well as uh, weighting and the implications of that. So, uh, the examples we're going to use are from my book, Poker Hand Ranges Explained, uh, by me. It's for sale on Lulu. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. To start off, we're going to look at the variance. Now, the variance is simply the sum of the squared deviations of n measurements from their mean divided by n minus 1. And uh, we're going to take a look at how to calculate that in just a minute or two here. Next, we're going to take a look at the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is a lot easier to calculate than the variance. The standard deviation is simply the positive square root of the variance. So in equation form, we take the VAR, or variance, and we take the square root of that. And that's going to be equal to the standard deviation, which is the black mark there, the symbol for standard deviation. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down uh, so you still have it on your notes here. Okay, next we're going to take a look at uh, what we use the standard deviation for. Now the standard deviation is used uh, for distribution curves of the statistics. I'm drawing a uh, slight diagram here. Uh, the center line below is the average of the mean and the black line that's kind of circled above is the distribution of the data. The blue um, standard deviation symbols there, one has a plus, the other has a minus. That is for data that's one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean. Now this data comprises 68% of uh, all data from our uh, normal distribution. I'm going to go ahead and put it down there where we got a little more space here. Next, we're going to look at uh, two standard deviations, which I've highlighted in yellow there. Now two standard deviations will cover 95% of the data. Uh, they're highlighted in yellow there. That means 5% of the data uh, can fall outside that. Uh, so the next thing we look at would be three standard deviations. I've got three blue minuses and three blue pluses. That covers approximately 99.7% of the data. So it essentially covers all of it except for a few outliers. And uh, this, the positive standard deviation, obviously, in poker is running good. Uh, we'll draw an example of running good there. Now, on the left side, uh, the negative standard deviation, two, 1, 2, and 3, would be an example of running bad. And I'll draw an arrow to there, and I uh, might actually do a few more arrows there. Let's go ahead and uh, put this stuff off to the side here, and we're going to delve into an example of uh, how we would calculate that in poker. I'm going to actually walk through an example and go through how we calculate that. In this example, I'm going to try to keep it simple. Uh, we have 60% equity. We're doing 20 trials, and that's 10 big blinds each. And what that means is uh, we multiply 10 big blinds times 2. The average pot is going to be 20 big blinds each because we got one for us, one for our opponent. And let's go ahead and get started on this here. Now, 60% of uh, 20 big blinds it comes out to a 12 big blind mean or average. We're not going to factor in rake here. We're just assuming no rake. Uh, that's going to translate to 12 wins and uh, eight times we're going to lose on average. Again, no no rake. If we did rake, it actually would be 12 minus 1.2 would be about 10.8 big blinds. So uh, the 12 times we win, we are uh, plus eight big blinds. The eight times we lose, we are minus 12 big blinds from the mean. And uh, if we go ahead and calculate that, it's going to be eight squared times 12, and that's going to equal or, uh, 64 times 12, which equals 768. So that's uh, one half of our sum of the squared deviations of n measurements from their mean equation. And the other half we're going to do is with the eight losses. For the uh, eight losses, we're going to take uh, 12 squared and then multiply that times 8, the number of losses we have. That comes out to 144 uh, 
which is 12 squared, times 8, which comes out to 1,152. We take the 1152 and we add it to 768. It gives us a total of 1920. Now, if you'll remember from earlier, the uh, variance is the sum of squared deviations of n measurements from the mean divided by n minus 1. We've just calculated the n measurements uh, sum, which is 1920, and we're going to divide that by n minus 1. We want to know what n is. Well, n is the uh, number of trials, and in our example, we have 20 trials uh, for n up there. So it's going to be uh, 1,920 divided by 20 minus 1, or 1,920 divided by 19. And that equals 101.5, which is our variance. Now, if you remember earlier, uh, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Uh, and I've got the standard deviation in blue here. So we're going to take a standard deviation of that variance number uh, and figure out what it is. Uh, so basically the standard deviation is the square root of 101.5. And the square root of 101.5 is approximately 10. I'm just going to use 10 because it's a nice easy number here. And we're going to go ahead and shrink that down. Below I've listed a uh, normal distribution curve with the average being in the middle and then plus or minus three standard deviations. Now our average expectation here is to be plus 40 big blinds and our standard deviation is 10. So that means if we're plus three standard deviations we will be plus 70 big blinds and if we're minus three standard deviations we will be uh, plus 10 big blinds. So we're going to win in both cases here because our standard deviation is 10. Uh, running bad is on the left, that is the red. Running good is on the right, that is green. And that concludes our example of uh, standard deviation. Now that we know how to calculate uh, variance of standard deviation, I'm going to take a look at how the rake impacts the game of poker. Uh, we're not going to actually calculate here, but I'm just going to give examples out of my book, uh, Poker Hand Ranges. First off, we have uh, 20 trials of uh, pocket queens versus uh, ace-king suited. And our hand is going to be pocket queens, so we're going to have a small edge, uh, like 56% or something like that. Uh, the first example is with no rake. Uh, running bad, we're minus 142 big blinds. Uh, running good, we're plus 470 big blinds. Our average expectation is uh, 164 or plus 164. And uh, that, that's for 99.7% uh, of the data there. Next, we're going to take a look at a uh, rake of uh, five big blinds on those uh, 20 trials there. And uh, as you can see, um, when we run bad, we're losing 196.97. That's, and when we run good, we're uh, getting we're plus 416. Our average expectation is plus 109. Uh, and uh, minus one standard deviation, as you can see right there, is 7.61. Uh, what that means is 68% of the time, uh, we're going to be within one standard deviation. It's 100 minus 68 is 32. If you take 32 and you divide it by 2, you get 16. 16% 16 is the amount of time we're going to be either 0 or running bad on the 20 trials of pocket queens versus ace king for 100 big blinds. And what that means is if we're going to uh, either be even or run bad 16% of the time. That means one out of every six times we do 20 trials, we could actually be a loser even though we actually have positive equity there. And that's uh, partially due to the rake and the other part is due to how variance fluctuates here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shrink these two trials down so you can take a look at them here. Now I uh, have some old software, so I'm not sure if it's uh, butchering uh, the shrunk down examples, but we, we have it from earlier. What I want to get to is the core concept, and uh, one of the core concepts of this is that our examples are equally weighted. In the real poker, poker world or uh, cash game session, uh, weights are not distributed equally, uh, which should be obvious here. 
Now, in a session, uh, we typically have a uh, portfolio of different decisions uh, with different weights and different probabilities, so it doesn't come out as nice and even as our distribution. Over time, if we have a large sample of decisions, it will, but it, it won't in the short run. And uh, we'll just take an example of uh, how that would impact this year. Okay. Uh, the example of waiting could be uh, we win eight times for uh, ten big blinds uh, with 90% equity and we lose one time for a hundred big blinds with 55% uh, equity. Obviously the eight times we won 80 but the one time we lost we lost a hundred. So we're net negative 20 even though we made good decisions and that would be one extreme example of uh, making uh, good decisions, but because of our weighting and variance, we actually end up losing uh, money in that situation. Uh, that concludes our tutorial uh, for uh, standard deviation and variance in poker. Hopefully this was helpful to you.